What's up, guys? Kai the Cable Guy. Got a nine-week, ten-week project. Bluntville, Tennessee. We're heading there now. I'm tired. Didn't get enough sleep. Kids woke up just as I started finishing up the packing, which you know, if you have kids, is a disaster because then you forget things. Stopped off at a rest area. Switching drivers, I'm gonna be driving now. So we're a subcontractor um, in the audio video game. What that means is we contract for contractors. We still have three hours to go. First day is usually prep. We get there, stage our stuff, figure a game plan out of how we're gonna work. This one's gonna be a bit bigger of a process because it's a hundred rooms I've been told. So there's a quite a bit involved in it. It should be fine. And it's an ever-changing world in the AV. You just have to roll with the punches here. But I love it. I love working, pulling wire, cutting speakers in, making wires look neat, hanging TVs and that kind of stuff. We call them displays in the audio video world, not TVs. They don't like to hear that, but. We're here. I don't know where my partner went. I think he went to find the GC. I ended up taking a phone call and then he disappeared. So I'm trying to get on site, but check this view out. You guys see all that mountain range? Like, let me see if I can get this to where the contrast. There we go. I mean, check that out. Right next to the Tri-City Airport. That's pretty cool. So once we get on, then I'll do the walkthrough. I'm not sure where, wherever we went. Day number two, not a whole lot went on as far as the, uh, the first day. So today we've got the game plan going on. Now we're going to move around in this room. Two eighty, well, three 86 inch TVs, of course, we call them displays. Uh, and they're going to go where you see these white little, there you are. I'm going to go over that. I'm going to mount some equipment behind it, run some wire. And uh, if this room, is this is the whole room here and then over here is where we're going to actually drop the wire down the wall and we're going to oh, wires because we got three of these things we got one here on this wall one over on that wall and one on that wall so all these wires are going to run to this corner and we're going to have a little rack thing sitting there so it controls all of it and uh, that's kind of how we're doing this uh, and there's a bunch of rooms that are identical to this room. So it's going to be kind of cookie cutter, same thing over and over and over again. But that's what we're doing here. Took the cap off. Uh, each one of these has conduit in it. So we're going to use the same conduit that this data is in. And we're going to fish that through. As you can see, this has windows above it. So it's probably going to go sideways and up there somewhere. At least that's the direction that it looks like it's moving. So each one of these boxes that I've got... We have to check the conduit with a fish tape just to make sure that everything comes up into the ceiling where we're going to run these wires down to because sometimes the conduit does go up and go into another room and it has a really depending on how the electricians actually ran the conduit so it can get kind of hairy if it doesn't just go straight up like it's supposed to in it anywho this all these lines that we're pulling are all going to meet up right here in the front of the classroom because we're in classrooms and there's going to be a rack that sits here. So I've got to cut a hole there. We're going to drop wire down from top. So everything to this corner, drop it down into here. And that's where we're starting today. 
uh, but right now we're going to have to go through every room make sure all this condo is right. All right, well, instead of running the fish tape, what I did was I just kind of tugged on the lines to see at the top, you know, where they popped out at and if they wiggled. This one's got, so you would think this one, right, has its own little conduit that goes all the way up there. No, no, no. What they did was it comes down here. You see them two pipes? It comes straight down. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. It comes straight down and then out right back up this one. So it comes out of this one, loops, and goes right back up there, and then goes back to the top. Yes, they wanted to save on conduit. Something that's kind of frustrating is when the conduit isn't attached. So now I have to hold this and pull at the same time. Uh, uh, room two. It's going kind of slow. Got the wires pulled in room one and two. Only 13 left. Uh, some of the conduit, like this one, remember, it's got that weird thing on the bottom where it goes down and then up again, and then it goes up over to that corner. That pull is getting ridiculous because the more rooms we do, or the further along we get, uh, it gets just tangled up. It's hard to pull three lines into it, and it's like, it's not your typical one inch conduit, it's three quarter inch, and no, whatever. And then we got all the wires, of course, on every side we're going to do the right side with the lectern so all the wires these are going to go into the rack and that's kind of where we stand by the way this is day three i did not have a whole lot of footage yesterday because we had to do walk arounds and figure out locations on this stuff and wait on the guy that was meeting us so that's where that ended up but yeah not too bad getting there Chief mounts, day number four. I'm gonna be putting up the mount right there. I've got two guys pulling wire for me, so they're working on that. And now I can go ahead and start mounting these and getting the equipment set up. So first things first, gotta find the studs, right? And we gotta hook these, cause these are 86 inches. These suckers are heavy, so they need studs. So I'm gonna put the two on uh, two, two sides of it that's gonna frame it here, find the studs and mount it. So I'll show you what that looks like in a jiffy now the stud finders that i use i've got two right you got this one right here it's all digital and it looks fancy and it very rarely use this one it's an okay one but i very rarely use it this one stanley who makes nope i'm sorry franklin makes this one awesome stud finder you push the button the lights light up for any object behind it so what it looks like this is the best one that i use all the time 20 bucks at walmart Push the button, slide it, there's my stud. See the three? And then I mark the center line in that. Look over here to find the stud. And there it is. Boom. And it's easy as that. I like this one way better than this one. These are called, I forgot the name of them, but they go inside the stud, pull back, and then they uh, hook. You can put bolts into them and they're right to the metal. They work great. All right, step two of the room is to get all those wires down the wall, make a little outlet there, and pull them out. I like wall fishing. It's actually my favorite part of the whole thing. 
because I'm really good at it. Not to be cocky, but I got over a decade with it, so I like wall fishing. It's fun. Dropped it down, popped the plate on. Now I just got to get a, what they call a, I forgot what they're called. I don't really pay attention to the names of these things because somebody else names it something different every time. But anyways, I played over that so it comes out. Get this sucker in snake skin. All right. Snake skins in. And goes all the way out to there. So that's nicely done. Looking good. All right, week one is done. We did manage to get one room complete. Completely done. A lot of rooms wired, ready for the next week. I'm gonna show you what this one room completed looks like. Hope you guys enjoy. Shoo!